Hey there, BookTube. Hey, guys. Noah. Everyone who reads it must converse. And hey, uh, guys and girls. <laughs> Scott and Becky in the house. Scott Danielson, for, uh, former shelfware. Thanks for always coming by, brother. It's nice to see you. Always cool. I got my laptop open right here so I can see the chat. Like always, right in front. So that's what I'm looking at. And uh, Mark Richardson, hey, brother, thanks for always coming by. I, I think that means that Deb is hanging out, you know. Um, nice. Thank you uh, very much, Deb, for uh, keeping an eye out, too. Ryan, my boy, R Republic of Bad Taste. Um, Ryan is actually reading the recognitions right now, and we are kicking around the idea of doing a ramble and a, a talking through kind of like how I did for uh, with heartfelt ineptitude for uh, Thomas Pynchon's Against the Day. So that's going to be really fun, right? Yasmin to the Lit House. Hey, thank you for coming by always. Very cool. Melissa Furman, thank you for coming by. Ineffable in the house like always. Thanks for coming by, brother. Very cool. The Falcon. Yes, sir. Um, I really, I really dig having... Um, yeah, Deb, Deb's here as always, for sure. Very cool. Um, it's always so cool to see, um, some of the, my core, uh, you know, people coming by that just always have fun and with me and, and crush some time with me on Friday night. It's, uh, it's really awesome. We, <laughs> that's right. That's right, Ryan. You are you are in the fold. You have been welcomed into the fold. So very cool. What a freaking week. I say it every Friday. I feel like I started off and I'm like, oh, what a week, right? <laughs> but this really was a week, to tell you the truth. It was seven days, seven full days. Um, so it was a week, a full week. So I'm reading some awesome stuff. Um, one just amazingly awesome work and then one work that is a blistering fast read for me i'll touch on them but i'm going to talk more about them later if that's fine stephen king's 11 look where i'm at can you can we see here i'll pull it up can we see this is this is what i have left to read <laughs> it's like the ninth and I'm uh, 605 pages in. <laughs> so um, this was that was the right call to choose that for reading after um, doing against the day and the then the recognitions and then after 11:22:63 I'm doing Don DeLillo's Underworld. So it's going to be another big big read like that. So hopefully, oh. Oh, yeah. It was a beautiful day. A lot of beautiful days this week for me as well. Yeah, I uh, I tell you, I'm having I'm having some fun with 11, 22, 63. That's for sure. It is. Uh, it is cool. Um, And it I mean, it's right in the pocket. I can't wait to see where it goes. I won't talk about like where I'm at right now and stuff like that, because um, I actually didn't didn't end at like a part. Underworld were everywhere. <laughs> All right, you know, yeah. Uh, Scott Danielson and I are gonna do. I think we're gonna try to do a kind of a podcast style talk, like we did with Hyperion, and then uh, we're going to. I'll, I'll put it up on the channel as well, but it'll just be audio. We'll do it in the style that he does um, his podcast, because that was really fun to do with the Hyperion. And I feel like, you know, uh, it's, it's just more just 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 getting into the conversation and getting right into it and, and working through it. And you can you can discuss we can discuss um, all kinds of plot and characters and things like that and ideas very uh, well through that. And you're right, Ryan. 2021 is the year of great reading, man. I'm I'm looking forward to how I'm going to end this thing up with um with some great reading. I'm thinking of 
tacking on at the very end the brothers Karamazov. That'll be like the final big book that I do for 2021. And what a way to end it, right? I mean, Brothers Karamazov is at is in everybody's top uh top five books, you know, that they if they've read it. So um yeah, uh I'm in I, I finished or I'm about to start chapter 24, Becky. That's where I'm at. Yeah, I just finished 23. So uh, cool. And then the next one, just that I'll touch on, but I'll talk on a little bit later, is The Waves by Virginia Woolf. I didn't get as far as I wanted to before the live stream started. I I, uh, I got to like page 40, and I wanted to get to the next chapter break. They're not numbered. They're just, they're just breaks in the narrative, and they go to another a chapter. It's like um, page 51. So I'll finish it after the live stream. I'll get there and then we can keep on talking about it. Yasmin. I'm I'm reading, yeah, right. I love Dark Side of the Moon. So uh Yasmin and I and uh Ben at Bookshore are reading the waves. And we'll see how it goes, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I hear I hear that uh the brothers Karamazov is the way to go. Just a cool, cool book. You didn't get there either, Yasmin. Uh, it's uh, for all of its poetry and and beauty. You know, it is something where you have to uh, just you have to really read it deliberately. Uh, you can't just flow through it. You have to read it very uh, deliberately. So I didn't make it either. And yeah, me too. I made something to eat. <laughs> I was like, um, you know. I've fed the mind enough. Now, uh, why not? Why don't I feed the body before I get on this live? So I'm going to let you guys know. I'm going to show you what I got because I have. I did stop by a thrift store today. And I did have some other things that I had picked up as a thrift store or from a thrift store way earlier, or, you know, like earlier in the week. Very cool. Hey, Tim and S and TBR. Thanks for coming by, bro. Nice to see you. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we should do a brother's cameras off read along in November. We'll see. We'll see how it goes when we get when we get close to it. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be very fun. Jackie Lou's book Q. Thank you for coming by. Nice to see you. And um, everybody, always welcome in my live stream. Uh, just to and and it's not just mine. It's also y'all's. You know what I mean? It wouldn't be. <laughs> hey, Brian. Nice to see you, brother. <clears throat> it wouldn't be what it is without y'all hanging out and kicking it with me and crushing some time. So I got an Aldous Huxley that I've never read, never even seen before. But I was looking on um, you know, eBay and I came across Time Must Have a Stop. By Aldous Huxley. And I love uh, a lot of Huxley stuff, even if I might not, you know, totally understand what he's talking about, right? <laughs> I'm just playing. But it is cool. Um, and, 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 you know, just some kind of philosophy, I guess, philosophy of time or philosophy of you know, what, what this, what this is by Huxley. And I love it. So I picked it up and I don't know anything about it. Like I said, I had never even seen it before. Hey Peg. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming by Peg. Um, my haul is, is like, um, you know, an hour in the life of Peg, not even, not, not an hour for you, but you know, <laughs> comparatively speaking, my uh, my haul is like an hour, whereas yours is like, you know, a week. <laughs> but I'm going to share my haul anyways, because, you know, when it comes down to it. We all love some books and we love to see some new books, and I'm, I don't um, push kind of like consumer ideas with showing hauls. I'm not trying to like, you know, be like, look, you know, I, look what I got. I'm a thrift store hauler, you know, more than anything. I love the hunt. I love finding stuff 
I love finding stuff unexpectedly. That's what I love. I'm a used bookstore guy and I am a, a thrift store hauler. I will get off of eBay. You know what I mean? Sometimes. Uh, and I, and what I do is I just start an eBay list and I have, I have like a huge amount of books in eBay, maybe like 40 that I'm watching, but not watching with intent to buy, but just watching. Cause that's where I have like a list of things that I'm interested in and, um, that I don't want to forget about. But I'm, but what I do is I just, uh, will come across it at some point. Hey, Christina. Thanks for coming by. Always cool to see you. And the room note. Very cool. Very cool. And uh, Mark was saying he he was uh, he cut out last week because a little early because he was going fishing the next day as well. I hope that um, went good for you, Mark, for sure. Yeah, I'm all about the use books. I'm all about, them. you know, I mean, most of the time. You know, I don't find busted, like destroyed used books. Most of the time, they are unread, you know, gifts or, or stuff that people didn't want. This one has been read. This one has been read for sure. But I had never seen this. I know you're about the hunt, Peg. <laughs> I think everybody knows you're about the hunt. Uh, it's ridiculous, the amount of the the deftness of hauling that you uh that you do so um oh my god ryan please please ryan stop you're gonna make me cry you're gonna make me feel bad for you i'm not trying to feel bad for you bro so i got the complete short stories of ernest hemingway finca vigia Vigia edition. I don't know what that what that means, why it's that. But this is the complete Hemingway short stories. So I, I said, well, why not? You know what I mean? When it comes down to it now, when it come when I when I want to uh, read some Hemingway short stories or if something comes up that is interesting to me, I got it. I totally got it. Let me see if I can find. Yeah, there's just a huge table of contents. Boom. Boom. So all the short stories. Very cool. Uh, a bunch of previously unpublished, it says as well. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. It has. It has been watermarked or stamped. You see this? Somebody stamped it right there. It says, The Library of William T. Tatum, Jr. WTT. Can you see this? That's pretty cool, huh? I don't, I don't know if I've ever... I don't know if I've ever um, seen that in a book. Yeah, I... Uh, I have... I, I, I mean, I love Hills Like White Elephants, for sure. It's it's a classic. Totally cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, if I if we fish here in Georgia, it's, you know, fishing with rattle trap or something like that. Fishing with lure and um, and catching these largemouth bass is is what it comes down to. Very cool. Big Two-Hearted River 1 and 2. Very cool. I'll check them out because uh, that's why I got it, so that I can just for sure get up on some more Hemingway in between reading big books. You know what I mean? That's why I grab short story collections, and I'll keep this one out. <clears throat> you know, by out, I mean not in my shelf in the living room. I'll keep it in my, in my, in, in my room here just so I can pick it up and, and grab it. So... Hey, Peo, attention is in the house for sure. Let's see. I'm just, oh yeah, Big Two-Hearted River Part 1 and 2. It's got, it's got both for sure. Uh, 10 pages a piece, nothing to it. So yeah, I'll crush them. I'll check it out. That's for sure. So 
Very cool. Yeah, I did. I did hear that, Brian. That you have a bass fishing channel. If you if you would, um, link me to it. You know what I mean. Leave a link to it so that I can so that I can check you out. Because yeah, I've I've heard you say it on your channel, um, and talk about it a little bit, like you know mentioning it. But <clears throat> you 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 look up fishing channels, and you just see like. Girls in bikini shooting fish with a bow and arrow. You know, I don't know. <laughs> Light of the world. Very cool. I'm going to check it out, Brian. Very cool. Heck yeah. Um, I need to get me some more, for real. You know, only Hemingway that I've read is, is stuff that I read back in school. Cool. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I do, Jackie Lou. <laughs> very cool yeah nice live bait i used to use minnows back in the day when i was when i was fishing with my dad this the old basser i like it <laughs> well I, it doesn't matter i'll check out the old stuff right I'll check out the, I'll check out what you have posted. So <clears throat> this is one that I have no idea about. I don't know anything about it, man. Y'all are just throwing out the Hemingway. I'm checking it out. All right. What's up, Lukash? Cool reader thesis in the house. Thank you, brother. Thank you for coming by. Um, This, this was made into a movie. I think it has Sam Rock. No, is it? It's not Sam Rockwell. It's, um, What's his name? It's the guy in Fifth Element, the guy in Leon the Professional, the bad guy in Leon the Professional in Fifth Element. I forget his name right now because uh, of the book. But this was made into a movie, and I don't know what any of it's about. And so I had seen this, and I decided to grab it because I'm going to read the play first because this is a play. Tom Stoppard's wrote Rosencrantz and Gilderstern are dead. <laughs> um, I, th I, I think the name's funny because it strikes me like these uh, Woody Allen names, you know, like when Woody Allen is getting all all kind of, oh, 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 I don't know. I don't know. Uh, this is my friend, uh, Mrs. Gildersleeve. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just like Gary Oldman. That's right. That's his name. Gary Oldman. I think is, is Gary Oldman in the movie of this. Rosencrantz and Gilderstern are dead. So, um, yeah, I want to check it out. Tom Ro Tim Roth. Is that who is in it? I don't know. Tim Roth, Gary Oldman. I love Tim Roth as well. Tim Roth, yeah. I love Tim Roth because um, you know, he's one of he's one of Tarantino's guys. Very cool. Cool. I'm going to read all the stories. You got it, Brian. I'm going to read all the stories, brother. <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, but I'm sure this is a quick read. I mean, what do we got? 125 pages of dialogue and direction. You know, I mean, it's a, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be cool. It's going to be very cool and something that I'll just crush and then I'll, watch some uh then i'll watch the movie because i love gary oldman and and tim roth as actors they're really they're really cool i don't i don't recall if rosencrantz and guild gildenstern are in hamlet i just love the names it's so silly very cool christina don't spoil me <laughs> do not spoil me <laughs> nice very cool yeah i mean i hear the movie's really really good yeah roth and oldman very cool very cool i'm checking it out so awesome yeah it's a script it's a it's i mean i thought it was i thought it was a play yeah uh, well because it just says it on the, the the top this is a most remarkable play very fl funny brilliant and very chilling so i mean it's just dialogue and direction you know what i mean basically so yeah i'm definitely down to it 
down for it. I mean, all right. So a little bit more. This this I just came across, and I'm not big on Swami Vivekananda. I have not seen a lot, and and got into a lot of this the the teachings or the nice, and got into the teachings of of of, of Vivekananda. It is Hinduism, which is you know not exactly in my wheelhouse. But I have, you know, read quite a bit of Hinduist Hinduism uh, source texts, uh, Bhagavad Gita and uh, Lukash as well. Right. Uh, the Bhagavad Gita is pretty awesome. <laughs> and the uh, Upanishads, um, things like that, um, a bit of the Mahabharata, which is a huge, huge, giant work. But I found this in a use in a, in a thrift store. So I grabbed it. Complete works, Swami Vivekananda, Complete Works, Volumes 1 and 2. One of them has been kind of through it a bit. Doesn't look like it's been necessarily read a lot, but but maybe was not stored very well. But um, it is for reading and reference. I'll check it out, see, um, see if I like. The kind of things it's basically lectures and discourses on yoga and uh yoga not meaning uh the the just the physical side of yoga yoga meaning uh un uniting with um the divine so some cool stuff is going to be interesting to check out and we'll see how that goes and then today, today I picked up Songs of the Doomed by Hunter S. Thompson. This is notes on the dream, on the death of the American dream of Gonzo Papers, volume three. This is a first edition hardcover. Just saw it in a, in a Goodwill. Check this guy out. Seriously? <laughs> so, um... You know, I could I couldn't why you know one buck one buck at the uh at the Goodwill and I got a first edition of another Hunter S. Thompson. So we'll check it out. This has a lot, a lot of short writings. Um Fear and Loathing in Sacramento. Oh, uh, <laughs> The Last Rumble in Fat City, the 50s, the 60s, What the Hell, It's Only Rock and Roll. Um, just a, a ridiculous amount of short works, you know, ridiculous amount of short, like, essays. So, yeah, I'm going to check it out. Why not, right? I'm sure that it's, a, you know, a wild ride, just like Hunter, Hunter S. Thompson is <laughs> so cool yeah i figured uh you can't go wrong with that right and i've seen i've seen that cover there used as a meme <laughs> on on like instagram that cover where he's you know holding the gun to his typewriter out in the snow <laughs> reminds me of uh office space where those guys uh take the take the copy machine out there and just beat the crap out of it and uh, tear it up, tear it to pieces, right? Very cool. So um, those who are just, re you know, watch, have been watching for a while have seen me talk about this before, but I can't, but my copy has actually been, hey, Christy, Christy Louise Dostoevsky in space. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for hanging out. <clears throat> so um, the the copy of this book that I've had, I got it. I got it close by, actually. It's not in the best shape. It's Godo Escherbach, right? So this is an older edition. This is uh, was actually put out in 1980. 
So this is the first vintage books edition, September of 1980. So this was actually put out and printed like before I was born. You know what I mean? So it's ridiculous. But I found a 20th century or a 20 year and anniversary edition. This is what the cover looks like here. The spine is completely unread, un uncreased, unread. And so when I was going through my other copy, you know, it just, I'm really, a, I'm a real, real careful reader. So I just found myself being like, man, I need to, I, I was being super careful with that. <laughs> You're so funny, Mark. <laughs> nice. Go ahead and go ahead and shoot them to me, Brian, for sure. Um, when I was reading my other copy of this, I was just going so slow and I was so careful with the um, with the uh, with the book that I it, it just sucked. I didn't I didn't I, I didn't like it because I didn't I don't want to destroy the book. So now um, I have a better copy, so I'll keep going through that other one and just destroy it or I'll just give that one to a bookstore or something used bookstore or the thrift store. And I'll just read this one. And that'll be a lot, a lot more enjoyable for me because I'm not trying to, I, I hate seeing a book just get completely destroyed. Hey, Mindy, thank you for coming by. Nice to see you, Mindy. <laughs> hey, Mark, <laughs> it's 20 in 1980. That's cool. I mean, you know, we're all, we're all different ages. <laughs> Hey, baby. Emily in the house. Nice to see you, baby. I think Emily's either hanging out at my mom's, hanging with the girls, or maybe on the way home, hopefully. <laughs> and then we'll see you. Very cool. All right, I'm just trying to... Yeah. Nice. I hear Terra Nostra is, is, is pretty wild. But I also heard somebody say that it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah. Um, I saw you talking about the other name uh, on your on your channel, Brian. And I was like, yeah, that looks that looks like right up my alley. I need to. I think you need to. <laughs> Has she been here? Has Emily been here and I missed it? It's hard to see all the comments that's for sure it's ridiculous am i writing a book right now um i've already written a book but it's not it needs it needs a rewrite you know what i mean it needs to i need to go through it again and and it will be one more time one more time of of writing on it and then i'll be done for sure for sure <laughs> everybody saying hey to emily right on most good books are sometimes a pain. Yeah, right? Um, that is a true statement. I think. For sure. Nice. Nice, Mindy. Just, just, just go with it. You know what I mean? You don't have to get everything. You don't have to, you know, totally understand everything. Just, just experience it. You're going to love it. Um, the end is, is, is very cool. Do I have another planned? Um, maybe. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> um, well, actually, you know what's what's funny, Mark? Hey, Tom, nice to see you, brother. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let's talk about I'll talk about the book a bit. So, my first, the first book, the book that I wrote, um, I finished the first draft right before I. Uh, started the booktube channel and what what the deal was was uh you know i did i did the uh the stephen king on writing tip where he said you know write them write 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 it all out write everything that's in your head write the story get it going and or get it out and then 
put put it away and don't look at it for four to six months or something like that. So that's what I did. And I actually waited like eight months. And so it was like August or September of 2020 where I pulled it out and I started really, uh, you know, looking at it again. And there has been an edit done on it. Um, and so I've been going through and doing the edits as far as getting, you know, all the tents, right. You know, th there's always these kind of things that when you're just writing and it's flowing and stuff like that, um, you know, you, you write it in a way that, you know, grammar things, punctuation things, tensing, tenses and things like that can just be, can just go off. You know what I mean? Get, get off. So, um, now I just have to go through it and get it, um, where I want it to be, which will just be going through it and writing, you know, just, just, just writing more on what I have. And then after that, I, once I write more on everything and kind of, you know, fill it out, really fill it out. I feel like there's, there's, there's quite a bit of filling out to do, even though I'm really, really happy with the story. But it's only 120 pages right now. Maybe maybe it's 140 or something like that. I haven't I haven't looked at the total page count in a while. Um, but once I fill it out, then I'm gonna go through it with the red pen and strike a bunch of stuff that's unnecessary. Then I'll be done. Then I'll be completely done with it. So this book is a thriller um a southern gothic thriller with supernatural element to it um not to the thriller part not to the main plot like it is it is like a crime novel almost but not not so much a procedural there is some procedure to it but that's not the main thing the main thing is a um very a uh, tortured person kid boy um young young man and a a very gothic southern gothic setting and 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 happenings but there is a supernatural element to uh to to the play to the to the to the book as well so it is it it it's it's a it's a it's an amalgamation of some stuff but i am definitely uh down for it and i don't th it's not it's not it's not inherently difficult there are things to it that are you know i'm 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 taking a a, a, a writer an author's liberties with how i how i present the narrative or something like this not in the in not in narrative delivery so much, but I don't hesitate to, you know, uh, speak from a character. It's not it's not necessarily delivered, you know, third person omniscient the whole time or something. You might get some stream of consciousness. You might get some internal monologue um, and things like that. Just whenever I feel like kind of stuff. And I just don't, and I just don't, you know, I don't worry about that because modern readers are, are ready for that kind of stuff. Um, that is a really, really cool video that uh, Attention put out today as a response to you, Christy, and, and to Michael Nip as well. It's very cool. Hey, uh, Josh, Working Man Reads in the House. Yeah, this is a cool, uh, a cool, uh, chat here you guys you guys are really really doing some cool stuff mindy i think you would love uh the story that i wrote for sure i think a lot of people will. i'm really really happy with it to tell you the truth i like i like the i like how i how i've done it i like how i like the plot i like the characters i like the ending i think i think it's just i mean you know i'm really really happy with it to tell you the 
It is not encyclopedic. <laughs> it is not encyclopedic. Hey, Alan, Big Heart Books and Classics in the house. Thanks for coming by, brother. Um, It is something where it is, I didn't mean for it to be, but it is very Flannery O'Connor. You know what I mean? And And it's just a testament to the thing that when it comes down to it, you're going to write what you're, I, I feel like, you know, I'm going to write what my, uh, what my affinities are and my own experiences. You know what I mean? I am a Southern boy. I, I, I feel a kinship to that, uh, stuff, to Flannery O'Connor's stuff. I've said it many, many times. Thank you, Yasmin. I appreciate you saying that. Um, you guys, you guys are really nice. Thank you very much, guys. And yeah, um, I will, I mean, I will, I will have it available. That's for sure. At some point, even if I just do a P it, just give it out in like a PDF format. I don't care. <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> it would be really cool to have some kind of, um, some kind of physical copy, you know what I mean? Printed and that kind of thing. But I'm not I'm not all about, you know, any kind of vanity press or anything like that. So when it comes down to it, I'm just going to do whatever feels right when it when the time is right. And I might be. Yeah, she's everywhere. She's too good. So uh, when it might be available, it'll be available before the end of this year, for sure. I'll finish it before the end of the year. I'll probably finish it uh, by the fall. What I would like to do is finish it before Halloween. Because it is, it's a, I mean, I don't, it's hard for me to know how thrilling it is because I know the whole plot. I know the whole thing. I know everything about it, even stuff that's not on the page, right? So it's hard for me to like really get a feel of pacing and really get a feel of whether something is where, you know, is there, how much tension is there? in this or that scene or something like that because um yeah i know right i need to talk to rick he'd print it up for me he might he might just print prints get some uh so many but i tell you man sending stuff from slovenia to the united states and vice versa is ridiculous man it's ridiculous how much it costs just to send a box of books or something um, so yeah, I think I might have to, nice, William Gay, I'll check it out, I'll check him out, because I'm not, I'm not familiar, and if he's Southern Gothic, then he's, he's right up my alley, for sure, um, I think that when it comes down to it, um, you know, there's, there's, I have, I have options, I just haven't explored them yet, because I'm not going to explore options like that even just tentatively, unless I have a, unless I have a product, you know what I mean? Unless I have a product that I'm finished with. Cause if somebody goes, yeah, you know, I, I, I'll print you up some copies or something like that. Let me, let me see it. I'm not going to go then. Oh, wait, well, I'm not done with it yet. You know what I mean? I'm, it's not going to go down like that. Very cool. All right. Yeah. All they can do is say, no, it's all good. That's for sure. I don't I don't have any worries about, you know, sharing it. And, and you know, I mean, it's a first it's a first novel. And and so and, and yeah, I mean, I, I I don't mind criticism and I don't mind rejection when it comes down to it. I mean, it's it's just it just is what it is. And it it might just not fit a press and it might. I mean, all good. But I do. I am happy with it. For sure. Hey, Rainbow Sky Game Proud. Thank you for coming. Nice to see you as always. Well, um, there is, there is, and I mean, but even, even people like Cormac McCarthy, Cormac McCarthy is not a Southern uh, person, Southern writer, but he, but his stuff is very much like, uh, like some uh, Southern Gothic writing, right? Um, Oh, that's 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 the first thing I thought of when I was reading um 
when I was reading uh, Faulkner. You know, for the first time reading a Faulkner novel, we just had read As I Lay Dying. So uh, that's cool. Very cool. The Long Home. I, I definitely will check it out. Man, I'm getting too many suggestions tonight. You guys are get you guys are throwing out all kinds of cool suggestions. But that's how it goes, right? <laughs> all these book lovers. If if you if you okay, so I, I have one more. I have one more that I didn't show. And I actually didn't show it last week either, because I had this one last week. Um, but I just, you know, there was so much last week that I just uh, didn't show it. But I got a memoir, another memoir, and this is Martin Amos, Experience. So I'm not a big, I'm not big on Martin Amos. I don't know a lot. I do have Time's Arrow. I hear is awesome. So I'm going to read Time's Arrow, but I hear that he's just a genius. So I um, I saw this in a, in a, in a thrift store, first edition hardcover, and and so I just grabbed it. And why not, right? Yeah, I hear he's completely a genius. This has this has been read just as far as I can tell because it just seems like it's been it's been uh, worked through. But look at these pictures, okay? I mean, this has like glossy. These pages in the middle are glossy. Um, photo photo paper 33 people 34 now but you know it's all good it's all good there's gonna be there's gonna be some time when i'm doing a live y'all and i'm and we're gonna have like a hundred people in here you know what i mean then i'm not gonna be able to talk directly to anybody <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to see I'm not going to be able to see uh, any comments <laughs> or something, you know, there's going to, there's a better way to do it. That's for sure. There's a better way to do it. I know I do. I, and I'm, and I'm, rec I'm, uh, I'm responding to Alan at big hard books and classics right there. <laughs> I looked over and he's like, damn, you score the best books. Yeah. I mean, look at these, these, I mean, just, there's so many. Okay. Check it out. How cool. How cool is this guy? So um, I've heard nothing but great things about Martin Amos. Amos, whatever. Um, and I've and I'll read Time's Arrow and then I may go straight for this just to get some, you know, to just get an idea of who the guy is. Because I don't know and I feel like when it comes down to it, um, I need to know. I really need to know. Nice. <laughs> Hitch 22. That's right. Nice. Um, inside story. I think I did see that somewhere as well. Very cool. Nice. So... I don't really uh, read books on writing, like on the process of writing. Um, I did read Stephen King's on writing because it was so highly recommended as as a writing book, as a book about writing and writers and stuff like that. So um, and I mean, are, are, to, are on the craft of writing. So I'm I was all about it. <laughs> Y'all are funny, but I am down to, um, to check out anything, you know, the other, the other kind of writing books that I've read, anything that I have read. Hey, Amy, nice to see you. Thanks for coming by. And, um, but no worries. I mean, you can stop by as much as you want or whenever you want and all good. And I've, I've pretty much shown all my haul now. Um, and it wasn't all that much, but some cool stuff, some Aldous Huxley, 
some Ernest Hemingway, some, um, I got an, I got a better copy of Godot Escherbach, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> so, um, yeah, on writing is, was a great read, wasn't it? I really enjoyed that King. Um, there was a lot of just the backstory and just, just autobiographical stuff on King there. And I really enjoyed it. So I'm reading, I'm reading, uh, some King and it's been a while since I have read King, but I'm flying through it. I mean, for real, like it's been 10 days and I've read almost 600 pages, over 600 pages in 11, 22, 63. And I'm, I'm just waiting for it, waiting for the real hit or, or waiting for the real stuff to just get messed up because it's a time travel book with a time travel mechanism that the time travel hasn't really been a big part of the book. There's all these kind of things that are, are kind of being brought to bear on the narrative and how our main character needs to act and what he needs to do. And there's some weird kind of, yeah, there's some weird kind of um, synchronicity or stuff like that happening. But but nothing really messed up with the time travel has happened. But I can see uh, that there's some serious stuff with it that's going to happen. I think, anyways. Nice. There is. There is so many cool ones. Some of my favorite King is um, Pet Cemetery, of course. Pet Cemetery was awesome. Um, I loved Misery. When I read that back in the day. Um, and the whole Dark Tower series. The whole Dark Tower series. Um, I love the Dark Tower series. 112263 does have so much heart. I love Salem, Salem's Lot as well. Um, yeah, 112263 has a lot of heart. What's one of your favorite... Uh, King book, Salem's Lot. Very cool. Yeah, Salem's Lot is a favorite of a lot, it seems. That's for sure. Cool. Very cool. Yeah, I, I can't wait to get to the end. Which brings me to my current read with Yasmin and Ben at Bookshore, which is The Waves by Virginia Woolf. This thing is awesome and a mind blow. This is a beautiful, beautiful book already. I mean, I've only read 40 pages, but it's not that long. You know, really, it's not that long. It's going to be um, amazing. I, oh, I'm getting sleepy. It's been a rough day. It's been a really rough week, to tell you the truth. So I'm sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Yeah, he had no. Well, he 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 made up his own butterfly effect, right? Um, this thing was written in 2011, 2012, maybe is when he wrote it. Maybe I don't know. Um, but it's right around there. And yeah, he didn't he didn't really he didn't really you know it doesn't seem like he knows he's 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 creating his own ideas about it. Um, I, I'll, I'll share, I'll share about it when I, when I finish it, Amy, <laughs> so many people loved it. So many people loved, uh, love that book. <laughs> Becky, not a fan of the dark tower series, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, they're, they're freaking good. <laughs> So with, yeah, Mr. Mercedes and well, that's part and that's on like a trilogy too, right? Oh, thank you, Christy. Yeah. Um, I try not to complain, but it is, it was, it was a really rough week for me. <laughs> oh, 
but it's Friday. I can I can I can sleep hard tonight. And yeah, I've read all those Botman books. All the Richard Botman stuff I've read, Tom. And that was cool. Dark Tower does rule. Right on, Alan. So, uh, Virginia Woolf, this thing starts. Nice, the Falcon. You're going to love it, man. And you can crush it. You can crush it, bro. Oh, man, I'm telling you, this thing's beautiful, Peg. This thing's beautiful. And so there's six uh, kind of characters that you start off with. And they seem to be siblings, maybe. But we got the idea that, that you know, even just right off the bat when we're reading it, that these are like eternal youths. These are eternal beings, they are not human beings like we are human beings. Um, and then they are in eternity. They're like in the ever present now in that first chapter. And then, um, then time starts with the second chapter, like time is starting and they're drawn into time and it is. It is it is really cool. No no spoilers, Brian. I'm not I'm not going to say anything more than brother because it is what what really stands out with this is the language. There is beautiful stuff after beautiful stuff after I mean just all over the place. I got <clears throat> an annotated and uh an annotated edition and it has a 40 page introduction that I did not read yet. I'll read it afterwards because there's so much to the introduction. I'm like, yeah, no, I'm going to read it first. And um, I haven't used much the notes, you know, and I was thinking about it on my read reading earlier that when I when I got done reading, I would just go through and read the notes up until the point that I um, have got to. Yeah. Um, <laughs> y'all are so funny. <laughs> That's ridiculous, yes, me. <laughs> it's so silly, I tell you. Y'all are freaking funny, man. Um, yeah, right, Alan. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, I don't, I'm not trying to sit here and just give my I'm, I'm only 40 pages in i have no right giving anything that i think that wolf is doing with this thing yet right <clears throat> so but but the language is so beautiful and these kind of images stick with you all the time of course there it's very poetic a lot of imagery that's the thing is like these images are just um, beautifully rendered in very s short um, phrases. Oh, I love it. So good. Hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to get to get back to it, to tell you the truth. And I will. I will do it. And then I will. I mean, we'll we'll do. We might do some kind of live action. We might do some talking about it. Like I said, I'm doing it with Yasmin and Ben over at Bookshore. So we'll just see once we get through it and done with it, what kind of thing that it comes to. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's ridiculous how oh, wonderful she is with, um, with language. And Melissa, thank you for hanging out. Uh, Melissa Furman, uh, we were, she had commented on Instagram and said that I'm going to stop by your live, but I'll, I might just stay like 30 minutes or so. And I said, all good, you know, go ahead and, and come, uh, come by all you want and stay however long you want. And so I really appreciate you hanging out, Melissa. It's really cool having everybody do <laughs> You guys, <laughs> past your bedtime tonight, but worth it. Thank you, Melissa. 
and it it's not just me i'm sure it's it's the hangout you know a lot of cool booktubers and we all just like you know having some good fun so <laughs> christy you're killing me you always kill me at the end of the live stream christy you're so funny um i'm sure if, if we do if we do a another um another uh Wol virginia wolf i mean i will um i'm loving the waves so i might do another virginia wolf this year and if i do i'll let you know i'll give you a heads up and then we can uh you know do a read along do do a buddy read and maybe invite some others or just do it like a read along style just tell everybody that we're doing it and then they can read along with us and let's do a big one i mean let's do a major one something like miss dalloway or um to the lighthouse for sure <clears throat> i'm definitely down for it i'm definitely down for that but i mean i have i have a lot i have orlando i have a room of one's own um i have three guineas a room of one's own and three guineas are both a uh, non-fiction i believe right vote you vote miss dalloway cool cool yeah Ah, yeah, you do need to be uh, Yasmin's friend. She's great. And she is a super strong reader. I love uh, the, the Borges reads. And then it has just been off to the races with some of the best short, powerful works. That's what it's been. Faulkner. And then we did um, Pedro Paramo. And then we did. And now we're doing Virginia Woolf. It's going to be awesome. And uh, we're and she actually is jumping into uh, Lukash and I, our next buddy read is going to be The Lave of Heaven by um, Ursula K. Le Guin. So we're going to do that. So yeah, um, I'm down to do Miss Dalloway, Mrs. Dalloway, for sure. Um, to the Lighthouse, we got we to gotta vote for To the Lighthouse. <laughs> but I mean, you know, we can we can do whatever we want, that's for sure. Nice. Very cool, Amy. Well, we'll uh I, I, I think I got too much going for like May, but June. We could do it in June. We could do uh to the lighthouse. Or I mean uh Mrs. Dalloway. For sure. Yeah, Christina votes for Mrs. Dalloway too. Loving it. Loving it. Look. Noah's live is bringing people together, you know, <laughs> bringing the readers together. Yeah, I, I want to read Orlando for sure. That's why I grabbed it. You know what I mean? Because once I heard what Orlando was about, I was like, I was like, yeah, I need this kind of craziness in my life. Right. <laughs> but I tell you, the waves is it's spectacular, brother. The Waves is really, really good. And The Waves is is hailed as... Um... <laughs> Y'all are too funny, I swear to God. Uh, very cool. <clears throat> very cool, Ineffable. I will... Um, we'll announce it. We'll announce it for sure. We're going to do the lathe of heaven and we're going to do it in May. So it's coming up, right? So, yeah. Uh, but the, the lathe of heaven is not a very long book. So, um, I, I've, uh, I don't, I don't have any, pro I don't have any problem. That's right. And, uh, Christina, you would love Le Guin, Ursula K. Le Guin. Um, it's sci-fi or fantasy, sometimes just fantasy, but sci-fi, um, a lot of sci-fi as well. And um, very high-minded, um, some political kind of stuff. She, she uh, is like a more heartfelt Heinlein and a more succinct Heinlein. <laughs> Cause she'll talk about social issues and, you know, gender roles as far as alien 
gender roles that are non-human, you know, and how how different things might be. It's pretty pretty crazy. Noah merch. Nice. No, I I need to put that on a shirt. Noah's life bringing people together. And then on the back, everyone who reads it must converse. We should do it. Yeah. So much Le Guin. Uh, Left Hand of Darkness is the bomb. Um, the Dispossessed, I've never read, but is very highly regarded um, by her. I love the R.C. trilogy. That's what I started off reading from Ursula K. Le Guin. And I can't wait to get more. I can't wait to get The Lathe of Heaven. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. Is what... Y'all are killing me. Okay. <laughs> tour of the library. My library. I have a book tour. I have a library tour, but I tell you. Um <laughs> thank you, Ryan. Um, I have a, a book tour. Daniel, nice to see you, brother. So um I have a bookshelf tour where I go through all my books, but I did that a year ago. And it's on my channel in a playlist called bookshelf tour so check it out if you'd like to see most everything that i have i have acquired a lot of stuff over the last year and i've unhauled quite a bit of stuff i mean you know i say quite a bit but not really right because <laughs> I, I i only get rid of stuff if i don't love it and i love most of the stuff that i read because i don't go for um you know i just don't read stuff that i don't want to read <laughs> y'all are great thank you very much cool very cool ineffable all right so an hour and two minutes i'm gonna call it or else i'm just gonna get you know incoherent <laughs> because I'm, I'm so I'm, I'm so exhausted but this was really really fun nice I'm going to check it out. Thank you, Brian. I'm going to check it out. Um, the The chat will be in the on the video in 12 hours. But that's why I click on the the messages so that if people watch it within the next 12 hours that they can still, you know, see chat and see what people are doing. So thank you very much for coming by, everybody. Y'all are great. Christina, Knitting Books, etc. Christy Louise Dostoevsky in space. Mark Richardson at Richardson Reads. Oh, this is great. Brian and Becky at the Bookish Bryants. Scott Danielson, always awesome to see you, brother. Brian at Bookish, thanks for coming by. Alan at Big Hard Books and Classics, always cool. Pay at Attention, you rock. Jackie Lou's uh, book, uh, <laughs> book Q, thanks for coming by. For sure, Melissa Furman, thank you for staying up late with me. And everybody, for, for crushing an hour with me. Uh, did I call out Yasmin at Tittle Lit House? Of course, always cool to hang out with you. And uh, Lukash at A Cool Reader's Thesis, The Falcon. Uh, Ryan at Republic of Bad Taste. All y'all. Y'all are my boys. Y'all are my girls. And y'all make this really, really fun. Y'all make this what it is. So it really, really is very cool to chill. And uh, I look forward to it every Friday because um, it's uh, it's fun time. It's some of the most enjoyable content to to make is to do this um, just in the doing. You know what I mean? So awesome. So I hope you all saw some some books that you liked and um, catch you on the next one. Book two. Bye bye.